learning as much as you can about especially art history in the last like 50 or 60 years, basically since World War II. It's really, really important um, because the way the art world works now is uh, very different than just people painting still lifes and stuff. Like, it's, <laughs> there's a lot more going on. You need to know about art theory and um, what's, what's been done, what's come before you. And then the other thing uh, that I would tell people is that there's not like a set career path if you do these things, you're gonna be successful. Like there's oh, many different ways to be successful and many different things that that means. So the best way to kind of guide your own path because it's kind of wide open is to find someone who you wanna be like and then you can kind of use what they've learned and see like, oh, well they started doing it this way and then they got this and then that led them to this other thing and like, I think that's um, the best way to kind of shape a career so you don't end up just stabbing away at stuff and you lose your way. So I think that's a good way to do it. I wouldn't say I learned more inside or outside the classroom, uh, more or less one or the other. Um, it was just different. Like I went to school um, in kind of a place that was a lot about the art market and a lot about contemporary art and I spent a lot of time going to blue chip art galleries and seeing like you know what's happening in this art world market that was you know totally beyond what I had known about um, growing up in high school. Uh, so I learned a lot about that and about art history and art theory in college and then after college I learned a lot of practical skills which is good because I think it's easier to learn those things on your own. <laughs> Um, you don't necessarily need to learn a lot of practical skills in the classroom. Um, so it was kind of two sides to a coin.